We are under chemical and biological attack. The scientific dictatorship sought to not only overthrow nation states, but to destroy the family and the human species itself. All of us are under attack. The global technocrats launched their assaults through covert means, through our water and food supplies, as well as household items, food, packaging, prescription and over-the-counter drugs. All of these systems used to deliver their covert Trojan horse payloads of control. If we are unsuccessful in stopping these technocratic madmen, humanity as we know it is a thing of the past. The report that you are about to see documents this horrific fact in detail. What you do with the information is up to you. You have been warned. The information that you are about to see and hear is some of the most important info that you will ever witness in your life. I can say that unequivocally. And I am begging you for the sake of you and your family and for our human family to please take notes, to check the different documents and news articles that we're going to show you here today and prove to yourself that we're telling you the truth. In fact, we're only scratching the surface. There is a private global corporate government now operating in the open that is based on the quack science of eugenics. And to put that in a pop culture context or something the general public will understand, Hitler was a eugenicist. And he got his ideas from scientists in England and the United States. Now, the robber barons like the Rockefellers that funded Hitler early on in the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute still control this nation and much of the world today. And the entire development of modern sciences through large tax-free foundations and government funding and DARPA that President Eisenhower warned us about has been in the direction of basically creating an artificial habitat, an artificial system where the scientific dictators or the technocrats, as they call themselves, play God over us and manipulate us. They see us as lab rats, as guinea pigs. Now, in the last decade, I've talked a lot about eugenics, really for more than 16 years on air, but intensely for 10 years or more. And in the different documents that we're gonna show you here, we found the UN documents, the Planned Parenthood documents, the World Population Organization documents, where they openly discussed breaking up the family, getting rid of the quote, arcane institution, so they could have their international collectivist system shutting down all competition against the ultra-rich. That is the system that we face as a society. And I'm going to go over some of those documents. But up front, I want to just say this. The system is scared to death of this information. Three years ago, they had a bunch of different George Soros-affiliated and Democratic Party-affiliated groups come out against me and really simplify uh, the, the uh, straw man that they'd built and go after me by saying, Alex Jones says the government is putting chemicals in your food and water to make you gay. What I had actually said was, bisphenol A alone that's in thousands of plastic products, printer ink, you name it, is lowering male fertility, is a estrogen mimicker, and is feminizing boys and men and hyperfeminizing women and has been linked in major studies to breast cancer and other cancers. It is devastating our society. And these har hormonal disruptors are actually running off into the lakes, streams, and rivers and confusing the sexual reproduction of nutria rats, rodents, uh, fish, turtles, you name it. Uh, this is a toxic waste, and it is added to our water, it is added to our food, it is added through the plastics that are in almost everything to our daily lives to reduce our fertility. Now, I want to show you first this document. This is from 
Planned Parenthood to the president of the Population Council that was tied in with the United Nations. And in it, they break down in 1969 plans to lower population and destroy the family. A, postpone or avoid marriage. B, alter image of ideal family size, demonize having more than one child. Compulsory education of children, they mean brainwashing. Now listen to this one. Encourage increased homosexuality. Here's another one. Educate for family limitation. Fertility control agents in water supply. And the current White House science czar, John P. Holdren, is on record in multiple books calling for this as well. And I got news for you. It's going on now. You are being forcibly drugged with toxic chemicals. Hundreds of them are added to the water supply, including radioactive isotopes, not just sodium fluoride that gives you a seven-fold increase in cancer. They have gone absolutely ape over the fact that I'm talking about this because it hits at the core of how these scientists are playing God, okay? This is not saying that people in the Roman times, some of them weren't gay or whatever. This is not about a moral issue. This is about to reduce population, giving men estrogen mimickers so that they're not attracted to women and so they are less fertile or infertile. But on the other side, it's making girls go into puberty at nine, 10 years old, many of them now at five. I've seen some articles as young as three. This is all over the Western world. The United States has the highest cancer rates, especially in women and breast cancer. It basically accelerates the aging process to simplify it. It does a bunch of other horrible things as well. It causes deformities in utero, causes more abortions, women to have miscarriages. And that's what this document gets into. It says compulsory abortion for out of wedlock pregnancies, compulsory sterilization of all who have had two children. What do you see in China? Our government went over there in the 70s, made a deal with the U.S. government and the U.N. to industrialize China and finance them if they do this. And now I see articles where they have forced abortions, where they're arresting people or taking their property if they have more children than the state says they can have. China is the model of the world. Break out of this matrix. Realize that you live in a controlled society and an artificially constructed civilization that is designed to dehumanize you and strip you of what it is to be a human. Taking over our very reproductive process, chemically altering men and women at an early age and even in utero. And what happens when I point this out? How does the establishment, the mainstream media, these corporate dinosaur mercenaries of propaganda, these prostitutes, how do they respond? Same way they've done for years. Last week, there were articles in CBS News, ABC News, you name it, attacking myself and Ron Paul, saying Ron Paul goes on Alex Jones's show, and Alex Jones says the government's putting chemicals in your food and water to make you gay. You see, they know people are reading that, and so they take all this research and they just turn it into, Alex says they want to make you gay, and look, Ron Paul goes on their show. When what I've really shown here is this is being done to reduce fertility, to increase cancer, and to destroy our normal gender roles. You're taking people's choices to have children away. You're taking people's choices to choose their sexual preference away. You know, they spin it and say you're born this way, and certainly there's different variants of it. Some of it is natural, but they're artificially adding chemicals that are making rats be confused about their gender, male and female. You're being chemically altered. Here are the documents. Here's the White House science are calling for adding stuff to the water, and their answer is, oh, Alex doesn't like gay people. That has nothing to do with this. This is about science and being manipulated by a technocracy that's playing God. The Centers for Disease Control has come out after public pressure and after scientific pressure and admitted that what's in the printer ink and the receipt ink and on the money and in thousands of products, TV dinners, you name it, toilet paper that people are touching is an estrogen mimicker and was chosen out of thousands of different varieties to be a chemical in the environment to reduce fertility and to basically turn men into servile creatures. The globalists just want to subdue the population so they can engage in chemical and biological warfare against us.
our water, our food, it's all being manipulated. And it's admitted now that the majority of water supplies in the U.S. have high levels of Prozac, high levels of female hormones, high levels of hundreds and hundreds of other chemicals that are, quote, runoff. The problem is I've seen the major studies. In some cases, this stuff is 200, 300, 400 times higher than it could be from sewage runoff. It's being added to the water. There's a reason the American people and the people of Western Europe will put up with such incredible tyranny. It's because we've been chemically and biologically manipulated. And you find out what it's doing to people. It is mind-boggling. This is a holocaust that's going on. This is an attack on the human species itself so these eugenicists can bring in their world government. Look at this headline. Bisphenol A now linked to male infertility and gender confusion. Here's another one. Sperm counts continue to plummet, say researchers connected to bisphenol A. Greenpeace finds toxic chemicals in branded clothing. Canned food may expose people to BPA, the little juice box liners. Canada declares BPA toxic, sets stage for more bans. FDA faulted for stance on chemicals in plastics. Here's the good news. A decade ago, when you talked about bisphenol A and other issues similar to it, you were laughed at. That isn't happening now. The Canadian government, different European governments have moved in the last four years to have it removed by law. Here in the United States, retailers have come out and advertised that they're bisphenol A free. But the establishment and the eugenicist have struck back. They're now having it added to literally thousands of different products, as I mentioned earlier, even toilet paper, so that it's incredibly hard to avoid this stuff. These nasty little globalist control freaks count on you being lazy, count on you being trusting. They count on you not researching and finding out the full horror of what they're involved in. This is a total takeover of the biosphere of our planet. Just like Monsanto's coming out with seeds, the Terminator seeds that don't reproduce. You've got to go to them each time. There's a new report out, International Journal of Biomedical Sciences, very prestigious. Monsanto GMO corn linked to organ failure. When you read deeper in the study, it's causing massive infertility in all mammal species and within three generations, near total infertility in guinea pigs, rats. There are no human studies. Do you understand? We're already a generation and a half or so into this, and we see fertility plummeting. Within three generations in all mammal species they tested in, 99% infertility and incredible deformities. And now because there's such incredible infertility, the globalists are coming out with the infertility treatments, which they sell at incredible cost to the public. They add things to the water, add things to the food, add things to the packaging chain by design through these global combines, through these agreements. And then when you're sterile, they come back and for millions of dollars, you go to them for these expensive genetic treatments so you can have children, but they're now designer. And the companies can build whatever Trojan horses they want into the back end. And then they will have the high tech treatments that are able to unlock our genetic code and allow us to reproduce again. Once the world government's in place and all their own UN and Club of Rome documents, they're talking about an 80% world population reduction. That's what their world government is about. That's why the big mega banks that run this system want to destroy the world economy so that everybody is dependent on government. They don't want you to be self-sufficient. They want you to be dumbed down and controlled. But if you're aware of the chemical and biological cocktails that are assaulting you, we can fight our way out of this by making choices that limit the amount of exposure we have to this form of warfare. There's a reason all these diseases are increasing because we are being slow killed. We are being soft killed. We are being murdered by a cocktail of poisons. This is the ultimate revolution. This is the human revolution against a technocratic, psychopathic, control freak elite who are playing God. Warn everyone you know about bisphenol A. It's in almost everything. Clothes, printer ink, packaging, it's everywhere. And retail workers and factory workers that are around this are being devastated by it. Let's reclaim our humanity together. Don't let them use little cliches about, oh, we're bashing gay people or, oh, we're conspiracy theorists. When these criminals 
attack us with propaganda. We need to shove the facts right back in their face and say, we see you, we know what you're doing, we've got the facts, and we're not laying down and taking it anymore. Humanity is awakening to the crimes that you, the eugenicist, have been committing against us, and you will be brought to justice. Now the rest is up to you. Get this information out to everyone you know. The ball is in your court. The information you've seen is only a tiny fraction of the accumulated research that InfoWars.com has amassed. It's now up to you to do your own research, to fully awaken, and then begin the task of awakening others. Our species is strong, and we can defeat this tiny group of psychopaths attempting to set themselves up as God.